Hey guys, so uh, still diving into this uh, roof. This is, uh, I guess, part number three. And uh, as I go, I'm just, like I say, just picking at it and seeing if there's any any rot in there or any places that, uh, that's wet. So I uh, kind of done something that kind of makes me commit it now to uh, to replace some some of this stuff. So on the back side, <clears throat> as I mentioned in the other video, this uh, support this support rib right here, um, I sand it down. It doesn't look to be any dark spots or anything like that. And that I think it was just the it was just the fiberglass um, that was more dirty than anything else. But as I started investigating and drilling some holes into this section, so this is where the ladder was mounted, I think, in this section because the roof was right side up, basically, and there's a ladder mounted right here. So I don't know if this was, um, you know, just uh, over time sort of thing, and uh, water just got in there. It's not bad. I could have probably left it, but I'm kind of committed now and uh, to take it all out and replace it all. So, uh, yeah, it's nothing like making work for myself, but whatever. It'll be done. It'll be done right. So I'm going to continue on just uh, to take all this uh, plywood out and um, and replace it, fiberglass it back in, call it good. Um, I haven't found anything yet from from this part forward that's got any water or any moisture um, that I can see. Um, I will be getting a, a moisture meter and probably testing a couple of areas and just see how it is, but um, just a visual inspection, I really can't see anything from this point forward. So. Hopefully this is the worst of it right here, and it's only a matter of, like I say, just putting in some plywood um, and glassing it back over, and uh, it'll be it'll be good to go. So anyway, that's what I kind of done today, and um, again, I could have glassed over it, I guess, and um, nobody would be any any the wiser, as they say, but. Uh, that's not who I am. So here we go. Um, stay tuned. Not too bad. Not great. Same. Like I say, it's not too bad. I could have probably left it, glassed over it, and it would have been just great. But, uh, I'm gonna say it's a good thing I ripped it out. Like I say, I'm committed now. So. There we go.
I don't know if you can see this, but that is water. Right along there. So, to answer my question, yeah, I'm now glad that I went ahead and done it. Hey guys, so, um, yeah, I found found water underneath the uh, the plywood, the last layer of plywood. It looks like there's three layers of half-inch plywood to uh, to build up to where it was. So, um, now I'll give you a, a little peek. And right in there, that is... That is very, very damp and wet. So uh, I'm just going to continue on, rip this out, and I'll be back. Hey, so the plywood's out, and uh, it's looking pretty good. As I say, this is a lot better than doing a transom or uh, stringers in a boat. I guarantee you that. It took about an hour to clean it up and, uh, and take it all out. There's all the pieces right here. And like I say, it wasn't it wasn't rotten by no means, but uh, there's definitely quite a bit of water in uh, in the plywood over the years. Um, again, just to reiterate, I mean, when I picked up the boat and uh, and this roof was off at the time, so it was just uh, yeah, it was just sitting in a in a little body of water. And I don't know how long it was like that. Um, I have no idea. So um, it doesn't look like anything else is really uh, is really in that bad of shape. Hey guys, I just want to show you after I removed the plywood from the roof here uh, what I kind of what it kind of looks like. I'm getting ready now just to uh, clean it up a little bit and uh, put the plywood back in. Don't know if I'll resin it or uh, epoxy it in yet. Not too sure, but anyway, um, gotta cut and fit the pieces for it and get it back installed. So, so anyway, here it is. Nice and clean once again. So after I get that finished and complete it, I'll uh, I'll laminate it in. And then I will also, uh, this rib right here, I'll actually laminate over that as well, give that a couple more layers, and uh, everything else looks, looks pretty good. So I'll just continue on, clean things up, and uh, leaving it as is. I don't think I'll be taking any more wood, um, other than at the very front right here. Um, that's the only... That's the only other thing I need to remove and, uh, and replace, but uh, I'm quite happy with with the rest of this. Um, the balsa wood seems to be in good shape. Um, the supporting ribs seem to be in pretty good shape. 